Let's get started. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us this Thursday for the weekly Vendasta webinar. For everything you need to know about our upcoming webinar sessions, topics, and registration, visit vendasta.com slash webinars. My name is Amy, and I'm here to talk to you about what I think is one of our most exciting marketplace products, Simple Social Share. Marketplace is your single source of truth for all products that Vendasta offers. Our team, the Marketplace team, works really hard to bring you the best solutions and the best rates. Now, access to Marketplace lives right in Partner Center. I hope this looks familiar to you. And every Marketplace product is an avenue for additional revenue. A quick housekeeping item before we get started. As usual, this session is live. We'll have a Q&A towards the end of the webinar. So if you think of any questions during the presentation, type them into the chat box. I will receive them and we'll go through them all towards the end of the session. So let's get right into it. Today, we're talking about simple social share. But first, let me introduce you to the vendor that's providing this service. Who's Tempesta Media? I'd like to introduce Michael. He's the founder and CEO of Tempesta Media. Michael, thanks so much for being with us. Tell us a bit about yourself and your company. Thank you very much, Amy, and uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name's Michael, and I'm the founder and CEO of Tempesta Media. Uh, I've been involved in the marketing technology industry for over 20 years, and I've been part of quite a few different uh, companies that have gone on to prominence, including Monster.com, Omniture, and Leapfrog Online, to name a few. Uh, we started Tempesta Media in 2011 uh, as a content marketing and influencer marketing platform, really before this whole concept became uh, public like it is today. Our goal really is to have uh, pool-based content and influencer marketing drive ROI and returns for marketing programs for customers. Uh, next slide. Thanks, Michael. So now let's get on to the product. Simple Social Share allows businesses to promote their brand through micro-influencers on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So before Michael walks you through, because he really is the expert here, um, I want to go through a few quick examples with you. So influencer marketing is definitely a hot, hot topic these days, and I can tell you from first-hand experience that it definitely works. You've likely encountered it on many occasions. For example, does something like this look familiar to you? A Kardashian endorsing a weight loss product. I know that I've seen this way too many times scrolling through my social media. And geared towards a different audience, how about this post? Martha Stewart encouraging her loyal Facebook followers to read, you know, these specific seven books. And directed to another type of audience, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, a pretty infamous soccer player, or football, depending on where you live, um, endorsing, kissing even, a pair of Nikes for all his Twitter followers. So this is influencer marketing. Michael, can you give us more detail about this and talk about micro-influencers too? Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, everyone's familiar with the Kardashians and Nike and a lot of these other uh, celebrity-based influencers. There's an entirely different world that exists that is available for small and medium-sized businesses. And this is the world of micro-influencer marketing. Uh, essentially, what influencer marketing is overall is it's basically getting individuals who have great relationships with their social media networks to promote content for advertisers. So as I said, we've seen Kardashians, we've seen Ronaldo and so forth. There's a whole tier of what we call micro influencers that have much smaller social networks, but they have a much deeper relationship with those people. And they're able to drive engagement and metrics that we as business owners really look for as part of our marketing campaigns. Uh, that's what a micro-influencer is, and that's really what Simple Social Share focuses on. So jumping into Simple Social Share just at a very high level, what we're able to do is very quickly and easily be able to go and create a micro-influencer program for your clients and allow you to go and amplify content 
that you have, whether it's a promotion, an offer, video, or any other thing that you feel that's of value to your prospective audience, and really get that message out there beyond just your website and your own social networks. It's a very fast and cost-effective way of being able to amplify your brand. So traditionally, as uh, Amy was talking about a little bit earlier, when you're trying to go and set up an influencer campaign, uh, for example, if you're trying to go and have uh, Kim Kardashian or one of the Kardashian sisters go and promote uh, your content or your website, you first have to find them. You have to go then and make sure that they're going to be a fit with your brand. You have to make sure that uh, you're negotiating the right rate. You have to make sure there's a bunch of different steps that go with it. And what you see on the screen right now is just a sampling of all the different things that you have to go through to be able to just have a single influencer promote your content. We felt that, and many companies have been constrained by this, that works well at the celebrity level when you're talking about millions of uh, people on an influencer social network it becomes very cost prohibitive to go and try to replicate that model for small businesses that are trying to target micro-influencers. And so what we've done, which we'll, you'll see on the next slide, is we've been able to take all these manual processes that exist and automate them on your behalf. So as the name implies, we really try to make sharing and promoting your content simple. So where do we focus? There's a couple different areas. When you think of these micro-influencer marketing uh, professionals that are out there, think of people that are within your industry, people that are within your social network that you would respect uh, in terms of their opinions. You have relationships with them. Those are the people we're really trying to target that are members of and have registered on our uh, Simple Social Share platform. Those are the people that are making themselves available to you as a customer of Simple Social Share uh, to be able to amplify your message. So with that said, let's talk a little bit about the process and what ends up happening. Because we're able to automate the process and uh, be able to aggregate thousands of influencers, micro-influencers together for your benefit, we've been able to create, allow you to create an influencer program very quickly and very easily. So when you go to uh, your Vendasta account, you're able to go into the marketplace and you'll see an icon in there for simple social share. And it's very easy to get everything set up. Once you click on the icon and you decide to sign up for simple social share, uh, you'll be presented with a very easy to understand form. You'll be able to define your campaign. So what content do you want to promote? Uh, what is the message that you want to get out there? Uh, you also want to know who are you trying to target? What industries, what interests, if it's business to consumer, are you looking for? You'll complete that information, you'll press a button, and then from there, what will happen because of our integration with Vendasta, a uh, simple social share will be able to set up your campaign quickly and efficiently, identify the micro-influencers that match all of your campaign criteria, and that have a specific and high enough level of engagement and a big enough social network uh, to be able to work with you. We then send invitations out on your behalf to those micro-influencers, inviting them to participate in your program. We handle all the negotiations, all the payments, all that's done dynamically. And if they accept and participate in your program, they will share your content on their social networks. And from there, you'll be able to start getting reporting each day on how your campaign's performing. So every couple days after your campaign is created and live, we will be inviting more and more micro-influencers to your program. You'll get a nice dashboard report that will show how many invitations have been sent out, what's the percentage acceptance rate of influencers taking your program, and then more important, what are the results? How many impressions, how many social followers saw 
your content? How many of them click through to your site to take further action and participate in your brand? How many influencers are representing you out there and uh, promoting your content? You'll get that all in a very easy to use format and dashboard, an example of which is what you see on the screen right now. So going into the reporting a little bit more in detail, these are some of the different metrics that we measure against on the campaign itself and which you have visibility into. So when you're sharing it with your customers or using it for yourself for your own corporate entity, you'll be able to quantifiably see and measure the performance of your uh, subscription with Simple Social Share. So a couple questions that we've identified that I thought I'd like to cover with you uh, are very specific. One uh, question that comes up from time to time, can you choose the specific influencers that uh, will be promoting your content? Uh, no, we've made our technology uh, very, very easy to use and automate it so you don't have to deal with the drudgery of all that. Uh, you merely put in the targeting criteria that you're trying to focus on and we'll take care of the rest for you. Uh, another question comes up is how do we go and accept micro influencers into our program? We've actually developed some pretty cutting edge technology called brand value technology that has been developed over several years that leverages all kinds of different signals, both proprietary that we own as well as others that we've licensed. Uh, and we were able to intelligently understand what the brand value is of an individual influencer, micro-influencer specifically. What is their ability to influence and drive their audience to take an action? And we've been able to quantify that into a numeric number, and that's where that brand value comes from. So we exclude the smallest uh, people out there in terms of micro micro influencers uh, just because we don't feel the ROIs there. Uh, micro influencers really have to have a brand value of at least 400. That generally means that they're going to have at least a thousand people in their social media network and they have a very tight relationship with those people. And then finally, we talked a little about the, the influencer themselves. You'll actually be able to see in their campaign reports which specific influencers, micro influencers, shared your content. And you can actually go and see the posts themselves. Now, a few more questions to quickly go through. Michael, can you tell us about uh, recommended campaign length? I know you went through brand value, but I just find it so interesting the way you built that program. So please tell us a little bit more. Sure. What we've done is we've tried to develop this technology in such a way that it becomes additive over time for our customers. Uh, one of the questions that comes up from time to time is how long should I run an inf a micro influencer campaign before I measure the ultimate results? And what we recommend with customers, given that it's a very uh, inexpensive and cost effective solution, is roughly about six months. And the reasoning being on that is that over time, our technology learns how your campaign performs and optimizes your campaign based on the signals that we receive from the micro influencers and their interaction as well as their social networks interaction with your content. And so that's really that sweet spot where you see uh, both the campaigns getting optimized, but also where you start to attract larger micro influencers to your campaign because it has an established value and an established trend that goes with it. So getting started is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, there are two different options that are available within uh, the Vendasta marketplace. Uh, one is a month to month option in terms of a subscription and the other is an annual plan. Uh, what we've seen outside of the, the Vendasta platform is companies generally sign up with the monthly program, they see the success and then they move to the more cost effective annual plan. And so once you've figured out which plan you want to go with, you can add your campaign criteria, which is very straightforward. And then we get started. And roughly within about five business days, 
of your campaign launching, you'll be able to start seeing data getting propagated into uh, your dashboard. Wonderful. Thank you, Michael. Now, I just want to emphasize, guys, what Michael went through is super simple. Um, and it's really how we've built this um, product through Marketplace. Um, the activation form in Marketplace is shown right here. So what you see here on the, left, on the right hand side of the screen is is exactly, I just cut and paste the order form. It looks like a lot, but it's just a few questions and we provided you with a ton of detail and some examples so you know exactly how to answer those questions. Um, if you understand what you see on this slide here, you'll know what to put into the, 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 the activation form and how to run this campaign. So this is something that I feel really strongly about because I guess I'm just that, that demographic that really falls for this influencer marketing type stuff. Um, I find it so interesting and I worked really closely with with Michael to make sure that this is as simple and as seamless as possible. So once you wrap your head around the concept of it, you know, following through is as simple as can be. And that was really our goal here. So Michael, let's, let's go through the dashboard and the reporting and all that great ROI that you've been talking about and show our partners on the line um, all those results. Sure, I appreciate that. I think that makes sense. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now is the very first uh, email that you'll get within or alert within uh, the Vendasta platform, letting you know that the uh, campaign has been started and what to really expect uh, the, over the first week or so of your program. Uh, this is a great example of you know, the reporting dashboard. Uh, what you're going to see here is your campaign. You're going to see the campaign performance by day that goes with it. And if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you're going to see a number that says 22 in there. And that really is uh, the number of influencers that have participated in this example. That um, number is actually uh, clickable. And when you click on that, it'll open up and show you all the additional detail associated with the campaign. So on the next slide, this is an example that shows when I've clicked on that option, shows me every single micro-influencer that's participated in my campaign, what social networks they use to share the content, and a link directly to their social account so you can go see it yourself. These are just a couple of examples of how the campaigns uh, work. Uh, because of FTC disclosure requirements, every single piece of content has to have a disclaimer put in there. So you'll see either for like Twitter campaigns, the pound ad sign, or with Facebook or LinkedIn, it may be ad or advertisement that appears uh, within the content itself. The links that you see here, uh, where example says bills that biz, et cetera, et cetera. That's actually, uh, we're taking the link that you want to promote and we're shortening it and also adding tracking capabilities to it so that we can go and generate that those types of reports that you're looking for and give you the granularity that you want. Okay, so I'm getting lots of questions about pricing, so let's get to that stuff. I like to call it the good stuff. We have two simple social share options for you that are currently available in Marketplace, monthly and annual. Per month, simple social share is available to you, our partners, for $99 USD. We think you can comfortably mark this up to about $200 per month. So you're buying it for $99 and you're doubling your money when you go and sell it to local businesses. I always like to say that with any recommended retail price, you know, you guys know your um, uh, bus businesses and your clients best. You can obviously increase that number, but it's a pretty low ballpark, something to start with. Now, for the annual option, the wholesale marketplace market mar sorry marketplace cost is nine ninety five, and selling it for about two thousand dollars would be ideal. Vendasta has a few social products that we provide, and we highly recommend that you either bundle these together um, or sell more than one of them. We like to call it the complete social solution. From social marketing, um, which is our owned and operated product, hopefully you're all familiar with it, um, to Get Social, which is another marketplace product that provides social analytics, to Simple Social Share, what we're talking to you about today, we want you to be able to provide your clients with a social suite allowing your agency to offer a clear upsell path. Now, let's talk about who to sell it to. Michael, again, you're the expert here, so take it away. 
Sure. My team and I, we put together uh, some additional detail that we thought would be helpful for you uh, on what works best. When you think about uh, influencer marketing, you're really talking about uh, what we would basically call amplification of content. So uh, content can be either on the B2C side or to be the B side. For B2C content, what we've seen best are companies that are selling products or services to consumers uh, that don't have a geographic restriction. So they're trying to sell to the entire United States market. And then what we've also seen based on the data is that uh, products and services that skew more towards females, families, as well as uh, people that are in the middle income range uh, tend to perform the best. Uh, for business to consumer based companies, you're really going to want to promote either your company's home page or the very specific uh, page that has your product or service that you're trying to promote. For business to business companies, it's going to be a little bit different. Here, uh, the best types of companies that have had most success are business services, and uh, we've outlined a couple of them here. The same thing where you have the ability to sell on a nationwide basis. Uh, what works best with B2B companies is promoting content for purchases of products or services that require research, consideration, and education. So, for example, you're not going to go and want to use simple social share if you're trying to sell pens to businesses. But if you're trying to sell a $20,000 piece of equipment, that's going to work a lot better. And the reasoning being is that the value for that lead is going to go up dramatically and there's a lot of research that's required to get there. Uh, in terms of the content, best types of content that you're going to want to use to promote on the B2B side differs from the business to consumer side. So on B2B, you really want to get into educational pieces as opposed to just driving someone to your homepage. So we've talked a little bit about where to focus and where to sell. Let's talk about what doesn't work. So business to government in general is not an effective use of simple social share. And reasoning being is a lot of those entities, they typically have a procurement process that's already defined and uh, being able to influence it, just that's not really what the, the intention is. Of course, it's not without saying content that's prohibited is not something that can be promoted on simple social share. There's an FAQ uh, within the marketplace app where you can see the full list of what is not allowed. And then the final thing that I really want to cover here is that it's almost, uh, I think the easiest way to equate it is garbage in, garbage out. If you have poor content that you're trying to promote that's filled with all kinds of errors and is not very clear, concise, and most important, compelling, it's not going to perform well uh, in an amplified setting like simple social share. So the biggest thing that I can recommend is make sure that what you're promoting is something that you feel people would want to share out there. So the more viral the content is that you're trying to promote, the better your results are going to be. So we were talking a little bit about what are things that you can do to make uh, uh, your targeting of your customers in terms of who you're selling to most effective. Once you've now gotten to the point where you have a customer that is signing up for Simple Social Share, as uh, their partner, you want to make sure that you focus on a couple different criteria that are really going to make it successful. First off, your targeting be as comprehensive and specific as possible in who you're trying to target. So the more uh, narrowly that you define, the more comprehensively you define your target audience, uh, the better your campaign is going to end up performing. Influencers, and specifically micro-influencers on the Simple Social Share platform, have a very real incentive, uh, in our case financially, to only opt in and share content that is going to be of value to their target, to their social networks. So if they go and pick up and accept the piece of content to promote in terms of one of your offers, and it's received poorly by their social networks, it has a negative effect on their brand value and impacts the future ability of them to earn money with simple social share. So making sure that you're pitch to those micro influencers is very clear 
and explains what are the benefits of pitching this to their audience, uh, the better your campaign is going to perform and the higher an acceptance rate that you're going to experience in terms of the number of influencer, micro-influencers that want to participate. Finally, and the most important, and I know I alluded to this a little bit earlier, make sure what you are trying to amplify out there is compelling. If you're trying to go and promote a very boring white paper that is difficult even for your customers to read, chances are those people that have no understanding of your brand and are now just getting introduced to it, uh, they're not going to be compelled to go and click and come to your site and take action. So think of that in mind here that what you're doing is you're opening up a new distribution channel for your content and you want to put your best foot forward. Thank you, Michael. That was incredibly helpful. So now it's time to answer all of your questions. Uh, we're going to go on a quick hold for about a minute because as of right now, I don't have a ton of questions in there. I've answered a few of them already in the chat box. Um, so I'm going to go on a quick hold for about 60 seconds. Type in all your questions. We'll answer as many as we can and we'll be right back. Okay, wonderful. I see some of those questions flowing in. We're going to start with an easy one and one that I should have covered, so I apologize. Michael, can you tell us about the country um, parameters? So what countries does Simple Social Share work in? That's a great question. Currently, it's available for uh, targeting micro-influencers within the United States. Eventually, we will roll out to Canada and other parts of Europe, but right now, the solution that's available is targeting U.S. Uh, influencers and prospective customers. Perfect. Thank you. And to all of you on the line, um, this is something that is included in the Marketplace product page. Um, for every product, we will include an FAQ on what uh, countries and languages, if applicable. So apologies that I didn't go through that earlier. Um, next question, Michael. I think this is a good one. I'm going to leave it for you. So the number of influencers, is it capped per campaign? Oh, no, absolutely not. And so with that said, uh, each campaign itself has a subscription amount, and so once uh, we've gotten to the point where a uh, specific total brand value has been used up for that month, uh, it automatically then moves us on to the next month. Generally, what we've seen is because the influencers are invited over the course of the month, that cap is never reached. Perfect. So there is no limit on the number of influencers that can pick up a campaign. Now, mm -hmm. um, a follow-up question to that, which is also a very good one. Um, if a post or a campaign is promoting a specific web page or a specific website, is there any code or any back-end development work that has to be done for that website, Michael? Absolutely not. So all you need to do is literally just provide the URL of where that page is located, and we take it from there. Wonderful. So here's another good one. Um, as you all know, every product in Marketplace is, is month to month. Now with Simple Social Share, Michael, can the campaigns be changed over time? So after a few months, um, if the, the content was to change, how do you guys handle that? that that's a great question. Uh, currently, what happens is uh, customers on Simple Social Share through Vendasta, they'll end the current campaign for that specific content and then start a new one up. Uh, over the course of 2018, we're going to be rolling out a series of enhancements that will be able to put further power and control in your hands. So you'll be able to handle, uh, instead of having to end a campaign and start it again, you'll be able to swap out the content, uh, the URL that you're promoting, as well as your pitch, and be able to optimize it from there. And we do anticipate adding those capabilities here by the end of uh, Q1 or early Q2 at the latest. But as of today, what we see is uh, customers end their current campaign and then they order a new one. Perfect. Thank you. So here's uh, an interesting one, and you, might you will likely have the experience to answer it, Michael. What's the biggest barrier to potential customers um, believing the influencer uh, as it pertains to that particular product? Do you notice any barriers or any trends that you've seen? That's a great question. And from the data that we've gathered over quite a few of these campaigns, 
what we have seen is that as the size of the micro influencers social network grows their ability to drive engagement with that social network proportionately declines and so the reason why we focused on the micro influencer space is we felt that it had the right balance between engagement and reach and especially if you can have the technology like we've put together in simple social share which gives you the reach by cobbling together many uh, micro influencers it gives you the benefits of both worlds we've seen quite a few campaigns that are at the celebrity influencer level where the return on investment uh, is negative and it's simply because those celebrities have a very tenuous relationship with their social followers Wonderful. Thank you, Michael. So I see a few questions coming in here, and they're um, primarily on geography. So, Michael, I was hoping you could touch on the idea of micro-influencers and how local they are or how specific they are to a, to a certain area. That's a good question. We currently offer, as part of the Simple Social Share solution, uh, national coverage. So they can be anywhere from uh, Maine all the way over to Alaska uh, in terms of where they're physically located. Uh, our intention is uh, to be able to roll out geographic targeting uh, by city um, sometime here in 2018. So currently we provide national level targeting with simple social share and then you can get to a lot of granularity when it comes to the industries that you're targeting as well as the interests. Perfect, thank you. Um, a question again about campaigns and like the number of influencers. So the question here states, on average, how many influencers are assigned to a campaign? We know that this means how many influencers pick up a campaign, but what's been your experience with that? I think the easiest way to explain it would be, I think a lot of your um, partners here that are on the call are familiar with a traditional media buy. And with a traditional media buy, you're purchasing X number of impressions at a CPM basis. What we've been able to do is dynamically determine what the brand value is on a numerical basis for each and every single micro-influencer. And so as part of the subscription, you're purchasing $99 worth, or in this case, almost $200 worth of uh, influencer brand value. And so that may be taken up by a very large micro, a couple of my, a very large micro influencers that have very high brand value, or it may be taken up by many smaller micro influencers that have a much smaller brand value. Uh, so it's really going to depend on your targeting and who you're going after, uh, but you'll see a mix of that. Generally, the way our platform works is we start with the smaller influencers at first, so you may see uh, a lot more invitations. But as the system starts to optimize itself over time, the number of invitations may go down, but the influencers, the micro influencers that are participating and their brand value associated with it goes up. Wonderful. Thank you, Michael. And we'll take one last question. And I know you've gone through this, um, but just to recap. How is Tempesta Media determining brand value? What factors go into it? Sure. There's actually two subcomponents of brand value at a very high level. One is what we call brand power, which is the ability to drive uh, engagement and action. So when you think about that, we've accumulated a lot of data because we ourselves have uh, created over 10,000 pieces of content across dozens and dozens of websites that we owned and operate. We're able to leverage a lot of big data to determine uh, what the ability is of a micro influencer to be able to drive clicks that go back to a customer's website. So brand power is one part of that. The other part or another major component is brand reach. And so if you think about that in a traditional sense, that would be how wide of a net, how big of a social media network do you have? And really what's the quality of that social media network? As we all know, one person who follows us on Facebook versus LinkedIn versus Twitter has a different weight associated with that. And you need to also have a way to be able to rule out what I call fake, influ fake uh, followers. So there's a lot of technology that goes into the uh, brand reach subcomponent of that brand value score. But at a very high level and a general level, it's a combination of brand power and brand reach. 
Michael, thank you so much. That was really helpful. There are a few more questions coming in. Some are very specific. Um, and if I haven't already gotten to them, or if Michael or I haven't answered your question, I will personally follow up with you before the end of the day uh, to make sure that we, we answer that question for you. Now, hopefully you have all the information you need about Simple Social Share. Go into Marketplace and enable it. Uh, build it into a package, display in your store, and if you have any questions along the way, reach out to your partner success manager. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. Your insights were really invaluable. Thank you very much. It has been an absolute pleasure speaking with all of you. My name is Amy, and it was a pleasure hosting you all today. Again, if I haven't answered your questions, I'll follow up with you personally after the session. If you ever have any questions about webinars, marketplace, or really anything Vendasta related, I'd love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you guys again next week. Thank you.